The reason people do not trust is because there's been a breakdown in society. Um, the fact that the, the factors involved in it are, are, are manifold, but basically you do not trust is because you've been betrayed or you've been exploited at some time in your life. How can you trust if you're eight years old and your parents have divorced and, and, and separated? There's a trauma there, there's a wound which can be healed, but it's one that, that is very much there. If you've been abused, if you've been exploited, uh, if you're a, a, a woman who's been exploited many times by men in a sexual sort of way, for example, or not even sexually, but emotionally right. manipulated, well, you're wounded, you feel betrayed, and it's just your level of trust for the next man you encounter is going to be lower by the very nature of things. And actually, this whole thing of trust has to do with institutions. Clearly, the church itself, in its human element, the, the great disaster of the priestly abuse scandal of several years ago, uh, did, did enormous damage and is a great tragedy from which the church will resurrect for, after this very long passion which you've gone through. But naturally, people will, will not be as trustful as, as perhaps they should be because uh, really the problem was huge, but it wasn't, that it was a very small percentage of priests or religious who acted in this sort of way. Uh, you could talk about Watergate of 40 years ago or the Clinton Gate of a few years ago. The whole idea, do we trust our government? Do we trust our intermediate institutions? So it's not simply a question of marriage, but clearly uh, when you see people not living up to the commitments to you, you become mistrustful of people. And it's, it's a very sad situation.